Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Tony Hawk games for the Xbox 360 and PS3. So Tony Hawk Ride, even if your excited teenage self might have seen in the trailer of this game a good game, well it isn't. My recommendation is to not buy the board, but I'll get to that later. Ok so in the game you get multiple linear locations, there are 6 distinct locations, Southern California, Ch Chicago, Illinois, New York City, Spain, Frankfurt, Germany and Tokyo, Japan. But the gameplay isn't that exciting. I will detail in the shred review, so the next game. Also if you want a great in-depth review of this game, just watch Square Right Jack's review. I will leave a link in the description. Ok, so Shred is similar to Right. You can even use the same board with both games. And the board is a piece of junk. The battery is drained too fast, it can't connect to your Xbox easily, so you get lots of problems once you have the board. And once you connect it, it disconnects easily, you need a lot of space in any direction of the board for it to function, and the gameplay isn't that exciting either. You press the board similar to when you are skating on a real skateboard, but it doesn't, well it isn't, It even if it's similar, it doesn't feel the same, obviously, but it doesn't give you that great of a feel either. I mean, it might be similar, but skating in real life feels way better. And the game is pretty boring. You get some linear levels, and even if you get snowboard levels, which are new and are pretty fun, they still manage to ruin things that they did right in right. Also if you want an in-depth review of the game, I recommend you again Square Eyed Jack's review. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 5 is well there, it exists. It isn't a good game, it isn't a bad game, it just exists. I mean the objectives are annoying sometimes. So, I, I won't list them, you get the usual, collect combo letters, skate letters, collect the secret DVDs, and destroy drones, but even if they sound like familiar objects, aside the destroying of drones, I had less fun in the game than in others. I didn't like the controls, and the maps were bland and uninteresting. Also the game has a create a park option, which is nice, and you also get a create your own skater mode. In Tony Hawk American Wasteland, the presentation is key. You get some punk comic book style cutscenes and some of them even reminded me of GTA or Bully for some reason. Anyway, the premise of the game is that you get to LA and want to build the ultimate skate park called the American Wasteland. So during your playthrough, you wreak havoc in the city to just get unique skatable things to get into your park and you kind of destroy LA in the process. In rest, the skating park of Tony Hawk is similar to other titles. The game includes a large map of LA with multiple sections, you can create your own skater, but you won't be playing with your created skater in, in the story mode. You just get to select one of the, I think, 4 or 5 presets. You can use created players only in free skate. You also get the create a park mode, and you can also ride BMXs and do tricks with the bikes. It's a good game, a classic Tony Hawk experience with, with a good story and the rest of the nice features. Oh, and a new feature is the create a trick option. You can create your own trick in the game too. It's great. Tony Hawk Project 8 is my favorite Tony Hawk game, not only on the PS3 or Xbox 360, but it's among my all-time favorites. The memories I have with this game are plenty. Basically, in Tony Hawk Project 8, Tony Hawk wants to build a team of 8 skaters, the Project 8, and you want to be in this top 8. You start from number 200 and boost yourself up to the top. The freedom you get in this game is unmatched by any game so far. You get 10 big areas so well connected between them that you could chain a combo across the entire map. Also, wherever you go, there is stuff to do. Even in free room, the map is so well built that you can get to do sick tricks anywhere. Also another killer feature in the game is the nail the trick mode, where the game slows down 
and you get to flip your board. It sounds simple, but it's a lot of fun and gets to be pretty complicated if you want to chain multiple moves. Also, there are so many fun activities to do in the game, and as I said, it's my favorite Tony Hawk game out of them all. But I admit that people will be disappointing to see that this game doesn't have a create a park mode or create a trick mode, and that in character creation you don't get that many options. But I still like the game and I will recommend it to anyone. Tony Hawk Proving Ground has an okay to good story. The map, even if it's big, it kind of feels the same everywhere, but the urban ambience is very fitting for a skating game. It's a very cozy game. Also in this game, you not only get the nail the trick option, like in Project 8, but you also get in addition the nail the manual option and the nail the grab option, which do what the nail trick does but with manuals and grabs. They work out too and can get very epic. In rest you get the create a park option. It's a good game and a very cozy one. Tony Hawk Pro Skater HD is terrible. I've never seen a modern Tony Hawk game to not have the sticker slap move. You grind with courage till the end of the rail and you see what? You ollie off the rail and then your character ragdoll boost glitches meters away. The graphics might be nice in the game, but the gameplay isn't, it's pretty boring. You get multiple maps, but no free room, yep, everything is on a time limit. But don't worry, even if you would have had free room, the maps were so terrible that you wouldn't play the game for more than half an hour in free room. They recreated even classic maps from Downhill Jam. Some of the maps are linear. Once you get to the end of a map, you get teleported back at the beginning of the map. Moves are scarce in the game, board, board customization consists only on some presets. The game isn't bad, but in comparison with the great games the system already has, like American Wasteland, Project 80 and Proving Ground, this game is lousy. It is lousy in comparison to those gems. As a standalone game, well, it's average. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to be a very special someone for the channel, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching!